This is Leroy Brown. You'll have to excuse my other dogs barking in the background. I'm sorry. But he, um, from what we can gather, was hit by a car. And this is basically what he's been doing for about the last week. Uh, we took him to the vet today. And they said that he, they think he has some swelling at the base of his spine. And that hopefully that will clear up some um, over the next couple of weeks. And that, that he should get some movement again. But as of right now, I'm having to sit him. I just fed him. And he's rubbed his little nose. Because he wants to get up. He just can't. But anyway, right now I have to kind of sit him up. And if I prop him up, he can... Oh, he's not working with me very good right now. If I prop him up, he does pretty good. But I have to help him get a drink and all that sort of stuff. And then he just wants to lay back down. But he's on some um, steroids. And he's taking some antibiotics, too, because he has a little bit of a UTI. And uh, so we're just hoping for the best. I would like... If you guys could send some positive thoughts his way, because he's a real good boy. When we went into the woods to get him, well, let me start back at the beginning. He, I got a call at work last Friday, and they said that they found this dog that had been hit by a car. And I had been seeing Leroy Brown down the road from our house for a while, and he He's kind of a car chaser, but, you know, I didn't know if he belonged to someone or not. But they went from house to house and tried to see if maybe somebody would claim him. And, of course, nobody did, though I'm somewhat certain that maybe he does belong to somebody down there. And now that he's hurt, they don't want to they don't want to have to put the money into him. But um, so they called me at work and, of course, I couldn't leave right then. About three or four hours later, some people from our Facebook page were um, had gone out and looking for him and didn't see him right on the road or next to the road. So um, when I got off, my husband and I went down and he had pulled himself a pretty good ways out into the woods, which is pretty amazing seeing that he's just, <laughs> he just kind of lays here now, but he was um, just kind of crawling on his little belly. He growled at us and I thought, oh no, he's we're gonna get bitten or something or he's gonna be kind of aggressive and I don't know what we'll do. But once we got him in the crate and got him home, he's been nothing but absolutely sweet. He wags his little tail when I call his name and um when I leave him he barks for me, which is kind of sad. And so Every hour or so, a couple of hours, we have to sit him up, help him sit up, get a drink, make sure he's getting hydrated. He was starting to get a little dehydrated, but um, we're, we're doing better now. Um, and I, like I said, I just fed him some wet food. Hopefully I can give an, an update every day. And maybe in a week or so, he'll start doing more. I sure hope so, because he's such a good boy. And I already love him. Anyway, say bye, Leroy. <laughs>